we've all had headaches at some point. There are both temporary and permanent headaches. In such cases, there are solutions that we may use at home without even visiting a doctor. Before we continue, let's look at what causes headaches in order to determine what is helpful for them. The following are some of the headache causes. Tremendous anxiety. Insomnia. Persistent colds or flu. Migraine. Sinusitis. Malnutrition. Some medication side effects. You could have headaches in such circumstances. But don't worry, we will tell you the solution. So, is it possible to cure headaches using natural methods? Specialists gave information about drug-free solutions to help relieve headaches. One, teas that are good for headaches. Green tea, cherry stem tea, sage tea, ginger tea, chamomile tea. When drinking these teas, there is something you should keep in mind. Herbal teas should always be made fresh and consumed right away. You can only achieve healthy outcomes in this manner. 2. Oils good for headaches. You don't have to limit yourself to herbal teas to get rid of a headache. Additionally, there are foods and oils that might help with headaches. Aromatic oils should be preferred in particular. What precisely are aromatic oils? Mint, eucalyptus, and lavender. They are strong aromatic oils and also have a very relaxing effect. Because of this, using them might help you avoid headaches. But we need to make an important point, these oils should never be taken orally. Because they have incredibly strong effects and all you have to do is inhale the steam. They are good for both the soul and the body due to their relaxing properties and opening the respiratory tract. 3. Pay attention to your food choices. One of the most important factors that trigger headaches is hunger. Nutrition is critical for reducing hunger-related headaches. In particular, foods that are rapidly converted into sugar in the body or directly sugary foods cause rapid and intense insulin secretion and cause a further decrease in blood sugar approximately 1 to 2 hours after a meal, triggering a condition called hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia also triggers headaches. Therefore, instead of fast carbohydrates, white flour foods, white rice, sugary desserts, intensely sweet fruits, potatoes, and other starchy foods, complex carbohydrate foods, unprocessed and whole grains, legumes, nuts, and green leafy vegetables should be preferred. It allows sugar to pass into the blood slowly and prevents hypoglycemia. In addition, consumption of complex carbohydrates prevents weight gain. Of course, consuming protein-rich foods and green leafy vegetables will prevent hypoglycemia and keep you full. 4. Create a sleep pattern. Of course, there is an undeniable connection between sleep and headaches. Oversleeping will cause head and body pain, just as insomnia may cause headaches. If you have headaches frequently, get enough sleep and manage your sleep patterns. Headaches can be caused by sitting at night without sleeping and waking up late in the day. Our advice is to regulate your irregular sleeping hours, do not extend daytime sleep, and if it is too repressed, simply allow 20 minutes of refreshing sleep and do not allow additional daytime sleep. 5. Drink enough amount of water. Inadequate water consumption leads to dehydration, which causes headaches. Our body loses 500 to 700 milliliters of water every day by evaporation from the skin and respiratory system, especially in hot conditions. A person who will lose at least 1 liter of water through urine should drink at least 2 to 2.5 liters of water every day. 6. Apply a cold or hot water bag. Applying the cold water bag to the top of the head, temples, and forehead will be good for headaches. It is more effective, especially in migraines. However, during this application, the general body temperature of the patient should be normal and he should not be cold. Applying a cold water bag to people who are already cold can increase the headache. Applying the hot water bag to the neck and upper back muscles can reduce or relieve the pain, and this application will be more effective for tension-type headaches. 
The important point for both applications is that cold or heat should not damage or burn the skin. Cold, like heat, can burn and damage the skin. 7. Massage. Many people have already experienced that massage is good for headaches. However, there are some points to be noted. If there is no allodynia, sweetheart touches and stroking without pressing too much on the temples, between the two eyebrows, on the scalp, and the upper parts of the neck can reduce or relieve the pain. However, very hard pressing, rubbing, or squeezing may seem relaxing for the moment, but it can cause the muscles to stiffen later on and can increase the pain even more. Massage of the neck muscles is a situation that needs a little more caution. If possible, it is best to have a professional massage. Pressing, rubbing or squeezing too hard on the neck and upper back muscles should never be done. 8. Take a warm shower. If your conditions are suitable, a shower that is not too hot will relax your muscles, calm your body and help your pain pass. If you are a migraine sufferer, it will be good to wash your head for a short time with not very cold water at the end of the shower. It may not be good to do this with tension-type headaches. 9. Utilize breathing exercises. It will be easier to fall asleep and reduce headaches with proper breathing techniques and breathing exercises. There are various different breathing techniques, however, I'll recommend a really straightforward exercise. The breathing exercise is performed by inhaling slowly and deeply for 7 seconds for 5 minutes, holding the breath for 4 seconds, and exhaling slowly and fully for 8 to 9 seconds. If possible, the exercise should be done in a calm, airy, and large atmosphere. 10. Regulate ambient light. If the white light in your surroundings is excessively intense, switching it out for yellow light may make you feel more relaxed. Furthermore, especially for migraine sufferers, resting in a dim or gloomy atmosphere might help minimize pain or guarantee that it does not worsen. 11. Reduce noise. The headache could start because of the noise or get worse because of it. If at all possible, try to make your surroundings as calm or as low noise as possible to lessen or eliminate your pain. A quiet setting is especially crucial for migraine sufferers since noise will make their pain worse and unpleasant. 12. Don't forget to exercise, go outside, and enjoy the sun. People who are inactive all the time experience increased fatigue, vigor, and unhappiness as a result of the blood circulation slowing down and the inability to secrete certain chemicals like endorphins, enkephalin, and adrenaline, which are released during movement and provide our body with constructive, repairing, and energizing effects. Non-strenuous daily workouts and movement will lessen your headaches or ensure that they do not arise at all, because both feeling tired and unhappy can cause pain. By using these methods, you can easily get rid of headaches. Keep practicing regularly. You will find that it really works. However, we must first emphasize that these treatments only work if your headaches are not throbbing or really severe. If your headache is chronic, you need to consult your doctor for your headache. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay well, stay healthy. See you on better days.